If you like my channel and you like what I'm doing, hit the subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. All of that's in the description. Yeah, let's get it on. This is the Cork Shockwood. Woo! Oh, you okay? No pressure, dude, no pressure. So this is the Shockwiz, this is what it looks like. It's a nice small little unit, quite compact, unobtrusive. It's got an inlet and an outlet valve. Doesn't matter which side you use, the in and the out. As you can see, there's a little blinking light here. It is activated via movement. On the inside of the packaging, you will see that uh, there's a long hose. This is to attach the Shockwiz to your fork. And here we got a small little hose. And this is to attach the shock whiz to your shock. This is the little rubber housing for the shock whiz. The shock whiz fits in right in the center there. It's got little holes on the side there for the valves. It's got little loops here so you can attach the shock whiz in a whole multitude of different positions. So you can attach it to your fork like that. Or you can attach it to your shock like this. Cool. That's it. So let's take this out on the trail and uh let's go shred and see what uh mr shockwiz has to say about my my riding and my bike setup we've got some nice g outs coming out here Woo! some nice burns which i like g outs Woo! some rocky some rocky sections nice roughage little jumps this trail has got it all and it really does have everything, like these rock gardens here. Drops. Some whoops. Woo! Some light penny sections to check uh, pedal bob. Yeah! Woo! Ah! Hoo -hoo -hoo! Yeah! Even though it's windy, it doesn't matter, it's so fun. Let's see what uh, Mr. Shockwiz wants to see next. It wants to see some pedaling, climbing, and downhill. Okay. <laughs> Pinging the run a bit there. Woo! Yeah! Oh, it's like bottom out resistance is cool. Low speed compression it says uh, make a bit firmer. Maybe one, two clicks firmer. High speed compression is good. Rebound is good. Air spring ramp it says add some spaces. Baseline air pressure, just maybe add a bit of air. It's not too bad. What's really nice about the shock was is that it's light. 31% sag. Shock was is really easy to calibrate. You can do it on the trail. As long as you've got a shock pump and a multi-tool, you'll be good to go. It'll take you roughly about five minutes. And the app on the phone is very descriptive and it guides you through the whole process very, very well. Unfortunately, ShockWiz is not compatible with any variable air chambers. So if you have an MRP RAM control cartridge, just remove it and put your, uh, your old rock shocks cartridge back in there just check the compatibility it's all on the quark website another thing to note is that this shock whiz is also just a good base point shock settings and fork settings in my opinion are personal preference so if you don't like the way it feels when you do set it up by all means just change it to what you like there are different tunes that you can work towards on the application that you can set up for the bike so you can have it either really stiff and cross country like very efficient or you can have it a balanced setting which is like a good in between or like what i'm doing is i'm running it on playful because i like a playful feeling bike or you can have it a very aggressive where it's going to use up maximum travel I've got this on a playful tune and it's gotten me really close to what uh, Cane Creek suggests your settings should be for this bike. 
What I would suggest you do is run it on a nice short loop that has a variety of different trails. So jumps, drops, rough stuff like rock gardens, G out, just a general trail that you would usually be riding. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start a new session because I am only concerned with descending. I don't care about climbing. You've got a climb switch so you can lock that thing out. I just want a good downhill tune. Woo! Getting good. We're gonna hit some nice sections now. Woo! Yeah, nice little drop down here. Woo! I got some wind here. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> okay, I'm blowing a bit off here. Yeah! <laughs> it feels really nice and plush at the back. Okay, let's have a gander and see here what good old shockwiz has to say. 92%. I felt that uh, I could actually do with a bit more high speed compression. All right, so that's it. That's the ride done. 96% tuned. Suggestions, maybe just some low speed compression, make a bit softer. Detections, everything is good. Statistics, everything is good. Overall, the ShockWiz is an awesome device and it's gonna give the capabilities of having a really finely tuned shock in the hands of everybody. You don't need to know much about suspension. This is gonna figure it all out for you and just tell you and guide you through the whole suspension tuning process. For the beginners, this thing is amazing. It's gonna open up a lot more doors, a lot more avenues for you. And it's just gonna make your ride sweet. If I had no knowledge on suspension and how to dial it in and tune it, I would definitely rent one of these units and uh, rent it for a couple of days, get that suspension dialed in and uh, have a sweet ride. This shock wrist that I was running, that is up for rent. If you are in the Cape Town area, I've left the email address of the dude who owns it, who is renting it out in the description below. So check it out, give him a call. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, have a great week and go shred it guys and girls.